Okay, to Alpha, mic check, microphone check. Can you hear my voice? Can. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. And then my presentation. Also can see? Yes. Internet is okay? Okay, very good. Thank you very much for your response. Uh, how is your internet connection? Is it okay? Got some lagging, buffering? Very good. Very good internet connection. Very good. Okay, thank you. All right. So I think we can start the class right now, yeah? Now is 12.49 uh, p.m. Okay, 9.49 p.m. All right. So um, before we start, do you have any problem uh, with our previous exercises on your workbook? Do you have any question to ask? Okay, if you open your workbook, uh, uh, page 79, I think there is no problem. 77, 78, and then our last. <clears throat> and then I ask you to try to finish the exercise on page 80. All right, the Van de Graaff generator. The Van de Graaff generator. This is the uh, the last question I asked you to finish last week. Any problem with Van de Graaff generator? Your observation, your discussion, and then the the conclusion. Any problem? No. No problem. Yeah. Okay. Very good. How about the rest of you? I think uh, if you have any problem, ah. Uh, uh, please do ask me eh, and then we can do the discussion okay right mm, so if if there is no problem uh, I think we can continue the the next topic eh, the next uh, lesson for today yeah can I continue class 10 okay 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 very good right so um So I just continue. Eh? You can also uh, refer to your textbook, page 148. Okay, 148. All right. So we already finished the type of energy, right? We just, um, I just want to give you some uh, revision with this uh, topic, eh? 7.1. Uh, 7 uh, we learn about energy. And then we also learn about the uh, the unit, SI unit of energy. We learn about the type of energy, the sources of energy, the introduction of energy, right? Okay. And then for chapter 7, specifically for chapter 7, uh, we are learning about one of the energy that is electrical, electrical energy. Okay. We learn about electrical energy. And then electrical energy... Uh, we begin with the electrostatic charges, electrostatic charges, because you need to remember, all right, every surface, every substance, okay, uh, every, every, what we call this, the, the surface of the substance uh, consists of charges, okay, whether it is electron or proton, okay, positive charges, we call it proton, and then for the uh, for negative charges we call it elect electron okay and then when the amount of charges in any surface if the amount of charges in any surface is equal in amount we can call the surface or we can call it new neutral okay you must remember that that is the basic of electricity that is the basic of uh, how what we call why or how electricity is produced uh, by the moving of the electron. All right. And then what happened? Electro uh, electrostatic charges will start to jump. Uh, the, the charges will start to jump from one, from one what we call from one uh, surface to another surface. Either the electron charges jump or the positive charges jump from one surface to another surface, okay? Because of the, the action of what? Can you still remember? What happened huh? when we 
uh, the the charges will jump. Okay, can you understand me, class? The charges, eh, either it is negative or positive charges, charges will jump from one surface to another surface because of what action? Friction. Yes, very good. That is the answer because of the friction. Eh? When we try to uh, rub two uh, different substance together, the uh, electron or the proton or the charges will jump to one another. So that will create what we call a static electricity or electrostatic charges. Okay. Uh, electrostatic charges can be felt, okay, can be observed, uh, can be seen, eh? because the largest electrostatic, as you know, is out there, the lightning. When there is a storm, eh? when there is uh, what we call a um, thunderstorm, eh? thunderstorm uh, during the rain, you can see that it's a very, very big electrostatic lightning. Eh? When the, what we call, uh, when the negative charges from the cloud, will jump to the surface of the earth that is positive, all right? So we already learned about the electrostatic charges and then make sure you understand uh, how is the charges, uh, the electrostatic charges is produced uh, because of the transfer of electron. Uh, when you rub two, when you rub two uh, substance together, it will produce friction and then the friction will uh, transfer the electron or proton, then it will produce what we call by static electricity. Okay, make sure you understand that. All right, and then what is electricity? Electricity meaning that, eh, I will uh, try to uh, 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 zoom a bit here. Okay. All right. I hope you can see the, the picture here. Eh? I will try to use the pen over here. Okay. So, what is electricity is all about? Okay. You know that the uh, Van de Graaff generator is the tool that we can create what? We can create the electrostatic charges. Okay. If you still remember, if I turn on the Van de Graaff generator, what happened to the dome here, what is the charges um, produced? There will be a negative charges. Can you see the, the drawing? Can you see my drawing? Okay. My drawing? Okay, very good. I uh, Maybe a, a little bit lag uh, because maybe of the internet because everybody is going to uh, do the, uh, the online class, but never mind. So if I turn on the Van de Graaff generator, there will be a friction, right? The friction between what? The friction between the roller and the and the rubber belt here. Okay, this I we already discussed last week. Okay, and then um, this is what we call a galvanometer. Galva galvanometer here is the device or to detect to detect electrical current. Current, C U R R E N T. Uh, a galvanometer here is to detect electrical current. Uh, current is a flow of, you just remember, yeah? Car current, what is the meaning of current? Current is the flow of electron. You know what is electron? You still remember what is electron? Is it positive or, or negative charges? Electron. Positive or negative charges class? Electron? Positive. It is a negative, yes. All right, it is a negative um, charges. You learn, right? We already learned that uh, we have two type of charges. Eh? One is a uh, positive and one is negative. Electron is negative charges. Okay, what's meaning by flow? Flow means the electron is moving or not moving. Current, current or flow here. Meaning what? The electron is move or not moving? Move. Yes, the electron is moving. You cannot see the electron moving, but there is a what we call a movement of electron. That's why we call it a current or flow. Okay, that's why we call it current or the flow. Flow of what? Flow of the electron. Okay, okay, back to the 
uh, picture over here. Right. So when I turn on the galvanum, uh, when I turn on the Van de Graaff generator, the dome of the Van de Graaff generator will become negatively charged. It will full of negative charges. Okay. And then I will connect the wire. All right. I will uh, use the wire, copper wire or any metal that can conduct electricity. I will connect it to the to the Van de Graaff generator, and I will connect to the end the first terminal of the galvanometer. And then at the second terminal of galvanometer, I will connect it to the earth. Why earth? Why I connect it to the earth? Okay, this is got to do with the charges. Okay, again, earth mean uh, I just connect the next wire, the number two wire here. This is the cable or wire number two. This is wire number two. And then this is wire number one. Okay, this is wire number number one. Okay, so wire number two, I just connect it to the earth. I just connect the wire and then I just, maybe I just connect it to the uh, to the soil, under in in, uh, uh, in the soil. Huh? Maybe I got, a, a, you know, a, a what we call metal rod here. And then I just bury, all right, I just bury the, I was just bury the, the cable inside the soil, in, on, under the soil. Huh? Just to put inside the soil here. Can you understand this? This is what we call earth. Earth. Okay. Earth mean what? The surface of the uh, the soil lah ya. The soil. Dalam tanah. Dalam tanah lah ya. Dalam tanah ini. Okay. Dalam tanah. Or just just at the surface of the surface of the what we call the earth. Alright. Okay. My question is. What is the charges on the surface of the earth here? What are the charges? Is it neutral? Is it positively charged? Or is it negatively charged? Neutral. It neutral. Very good. Okay. Usually, the surface of the earth is neutral. Neutral mean what? Now, neutral mean it has what amount of negative and positive charges? Neutral? Same. Yes, very good. It has same amount of charges. Negative Positive, negative, positive, yeah? positive, negative, same charges. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, what happened? You know that the the charges on the Van, uh, the Van de Graaff generator is negative. And then the amount of charges in uh, at the surface of the soil, earth here, is equal. So, again, there is actually a... Uh, at the uh, at the dome of the Van de Graaff generator, they have positive charges. But can you see the amount of charges of positive positive charges here? Is it more or less than negative charges at the dome yes. of the Van de Graaff? Yes, the positive charges at the dome yeah on the surface of the dome of the Van de Graaff generator is less. So there is. Um, uh, what we call the amount of negative charges is more at Van de Graaff generator. Okay, at the at, at the dome of the Van de Graaff generator. So what will happen? My question is, what will happen? The surface of the Earth got equal amount of positive and negative. So what will happen to the negative charge on the Van de Graaff generator? What will happen? Any, 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 any idea what will happen? Positive will increase. Positive will increase. A positive will increase in where? Generator. Generator. Positive will increase the generator. Okay. Okay, okay. And then I understand you. So what happened? Is it because you already know, you, we learned that when positive and negative it will repel or it will attract? Attract. It will attract. Huh? Different charges, it will attract. Same charges, it will repel. Okay? So what happened here, because there is um, what we call more positive charges at the soil over here, all right? Because they, they try to equalize the they try to equalize the charges at the dome of the Van de Graaff generator and at the surface of the earth. They try to equalize the, 
they try to equal equalize the charges so when uh, because we know that when positive and negative it will attract you see can you just count the amount of positive charges at the soil here for example here huh? so there we have one two wait uh, wait uh, uh, I just uh, delete one okay here okay delete over here all right so we have the charges over here okay the positive charges on the soil all right is more than the negative and uh, uh, is more than the positive charges on the van de graaff generator so what will happen to the negative charges on the van de graaff generator the dome of the van de graaff generator what will happen what do you think happen to the negative charges or the electron at the uh, at the uh, at the van de graaff generator here is it moving or what what happened to the 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 what we call uh, the charges on the van de graaff any any idea any idea idea what will happen you see the surface here you see the charges on the soil here the the charges on the soil the charges on the earth is equal huh? we have here one two three four five we have five positive for example huh? we have five positive and uh, one two three and also five negative and here we only have one positive uh, we have on, only one positive here so what will happen they try to equalize the charges yeah so what happened uh, what will happen the negative charge on the van de graaff generator will move will flow will go uh, can you see the my drawing okay it will go through the galvanometer and then the charges will flow to the earth can you see can you see can you see the difference then the electron will go to the uh, to the earth because of the attraction between different charges so this is what we call by electric electrical current okay and then galvanometer galvanometer will detect the flow of electron uh, galvanometer here will detect the flow of electron flow of electron electron will detect the flow of electron and then the needle on the galvanometer will move meaning that it will detect a current although the current is very 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 small it can detect the current what are the device here galvano galvanometer okay right class okay can you understand this <laughs> huh can you understand this what happened if I turn off the Van de Graaff generator? When I turn off the Van de Graaff generator, the electron flow or stop? Stop. Yes, very good. When I turn off the generator, the flow of electron is stopped. Because why? Because there is no friction, there is no electron transfer, and then the charges on both Van de Graaff generator and the soil is already equalized meaning that already become neutral so there is no electron transfer okay from the from the van de graaff generator to the soil because there is no what because there is no more friction because there is no more friction uh no more electron jump uh, so it will be stopped can you understand this okay so what actually electricity electricity is meaning that the flow of electron or the flow of the current okay flow of the of the current right okay so next one Okay. The deflection of the galvanometer pointer indicates, all right, the, uh, the deflection of the galvanometer indicates the flow of the electric current. The flow of electric current. And that electric current can be defined of the rate of flow of electric charges through a conductor. Okay. Next one, measuring the quantity of electricity. 
So uh, I think we already learned this in um, in 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 uh, primary school, and then I think uh, also in uh, form one. You still remember form one? Form one. Yes. Uh, okay, form one. Form one. You already learned the unit of um, electricity. Okay, one is ampere. Okay, number one is ampere, and then number two is the voltage. Huh? Voltage, the symbol is V, ampere, the, the, the symbol is A. Ampere is the unit. Eh? Ampere is the unit. If I can um, um, draw the uh, picture here. Okay. Uh, electrical, uh, we want to measure, measure E quantity, eh? quantity of electric electricity so there is two uh two what we call um um unit eh? one is ampere okay wait huh? okay the unit one is unit one is the symbol of unit and then what its measure and then number one is the device eh? the device that uh, measure it okay so number one is the unit is ampere right the symbol is capital a what it measure it will measure current electrical current and then what is the device we call it m emitter okay number two what is the unit volt voltage okay and then the symbol is v what is measure it will measure voltage ah sorry huh? the first unit the unit is not volt huh? the unit is v o v o l t v o l t okay and then what are the device to measure the the uh, the volt the voltage we call it volt meter okay can you understand this all right you must understand this eh? you must understand this the unit eh? the first one is what we call the unit all right this is the unit and then the symbol and then what it measure and then what is the device that measure the unit okay can you understand this Ah, uh, never mind. Yeah, you can uh, you can look at it later on our uh, recording later on. Okay. Is it okay? Okay. Right. Okay. Thank you. Next one. Uh, okay. Actually, this is a practical. Um, Practical lesson, eh? practical, we have uh, an activity, but never mind. Um, okay, uh, right. So I will, I will try to teach you the, what we call the, the theory side of it first. Eh? Okay. Next one, the relationship between the current, voltage and resistance. Okay. So there is another unit that you need to remember is what we call the resistance. Okay, what is the resistance? The ability of conductor to limit or resist the flow of current is known as the resistance. Okay, and then the unit is ohm. All right, that's all you need to know. Okay, that's all you need to know. Huh? Resistance is the, um, the things that uh, what we call resist or limit the current. What is the current unit class? You still remember? Just now, the, the, what is the unit of current? What is the unit of current? Ah, what is the unit of current? Ampere. Is, yes, yeah. the unit of current is ampere. Okay. Resistance is the unit, okay, or... Uh, is the unit that can what we call uh, resist or limit the 
flow of electric current. Never mind, I will just show you uh, the, the what we call um, picture easier for you to see. Okay, so I think, um, wait a Okay, so now is one thirteen, right? Never mind. I will show you one things here. Chapter seven. Okay, uh, this is the picture from uh, your workbook. Huh? Uh, this is the picture from your workbook. Okay. All right. So, um, you can also refer to your workbook as well. Okay. So, this is what we call the schematic to measure, to measure the, uh, current, electrical current, and the voltage, okay? Right. So, uh, we have over here, okay, we have over here what we call a dry cell. We have the battery over here. We have a switch, and then switch connected to the bulb, and the bulb will connect it to the emitter, okay? Can you understand this? Um, how to explain this? Huh? Okay, just remember this is the setting for if you want to take the, if you want to measure the current of an electrical circuit, these are the setup. Okay, these are the setup. Huh? Make sure battery, huh? if battery, huh? the dry cell over here consists of positive and negative. Okay, consists of positive and negative charges. All right, and then we want to know the what we call the uh, the amount of current in the battery, uh, the amount of current in the in the circuit. We need to use ammeter. Okay, so when I turn on the switch over here, when I turn on the switch, right, what will happen to the bulb? The bulb will the bulb will light up. And then the emitter readings will also increase. Okay? Is it okay? The yes. emitter reading also increase. All right? Uh, actually, we need to do the practical side of it. Uh, never mind. I will try to find the video related to the, uh, to the, to the what we call the circuit over here. But for now, you just remember this is the setup, the how to set up the, what we call, how to set up the apparatus to measure, to measure electrical current. Huh? This is the setup, how to measure the electrical current. Okay. My question is, what is the moving, what are the charges moving inside the wire here? inside the cable here. This is cable, yeah? This is wire. This is wire or cable. Okay? When I switch on the switch, what are the charges moving from the battery to the... Uh, uh, what is the charges moving? Positive. Positive or negative charges? Electron or, electron or proton is moving? Ah, you still remember the Van de Graaff? generator and the galvanometer what are the charges moving is it electron or negative or is it proton positive Elect ah, la. negative or positive electron or proton moving electron yes you remember class yeah very good you must remember uh, when you switch on the battery, uh, when you shot the battery over here, the electron from the negative terminal on the battery here, over here, 
we have negative and positive okay so we if i switch on the switch over here the negative in or the electron will flow from the negative terminal okay and then go inside the emitter and then go to the bulb and then go to the switch okay the electron is moving can you see the picture can you see my drawing the electron is moving okay from the negative terminal to the to where to the positive terminal of the of the battery uh, this is what we call by the uh, this is what we call by the electricity current okay the flow of electron not the flow of proton yeah the flow of electron okay the flow of electron because why because po negative and positive what will happen it will attract okay it will attract the electron or the, the charges will attract in different charges so when i switch on the switch over here the electron will move from the negative terminal of the battery to the positive uh, to the positive terminal of the battery so it will create what we call electric current it will create electrical current and then electrical current will be measured by ammeter we can know how much the ampere or the current of the electrical we can know huh? and then we can manipulate or we can use the the flow of electron okay we can use the flow of negative charges uh, and then we can create the device to use the flow of the charges huh? for example in this picture what is the device what are the what are the what we call um uh, the tools can we uh, that we use in order to manipulate or to use the moving electron we are using bulb because when the electron flow over the bulb over here it will light up okay it will light okay so this is what we call how to understand the electrical electrical current right electron inside the inside the copper inside the wire cable here is moving electron is moving okay can you understand this so what is the what you think the the emitter reading over here it is about actually we need to do actually when i give uh suppose eh, i will give you the battery and then you measure the you measure the current for yourself but never mind it is about 0 0.5 ampere okay it is about 0 0.5 ampere the current eh, the current of the uh, what we call the current of this uh, the circuit over here okay so next one so what is the the next one is how we want to set up the uh, this is how we want to set up how to measure uh, how to measure what we call voltage huh? this is the setup in how to measure the the voltage can you see the difference over here can you see the difference yeah this is how you want to set up the voltage yeah okay you connect the all right you connect the what we call the um uh, the wire over here this is negative uh, this is negative terminal okay this is negative terminal and then this is positive terminal and then also you have a, what we call a connecting connecting wire or cable okay and then negative we you uh, uh, connect it with switch and then after the switch you just connect it to the bulb and then from the bulb you must connect it to the voltmeter okay you cannot uh, what we call set up the circuit like emitter emitter different emitter is just a single loop only eh? can you see the difference eh? emitter only single loop i hope you can see the difference yeah eh? emitter just a single loop over here eh? just a single loop okay single loop over here but if you trying 
uh, if you try to to connect to voltmeter, you must have two loops. Okay, you must have two loops of wire. One is number one is here. Sorry, from here. Okay, this is the the first loop. Okay, this is the first loop, and then the the second loops is from here to here. So you must connect. This is the second loop. Okay, so you must connect it correctly. So this is how you want to to measure the the voltmeter. All right. Okay, class. Uh, this is how you want to to measure the voltmeter. Okay, so there is a reading here when you connect it correctly. When you switch on the power, there will be a reading here, and then the reading is about one. Sorry, uh, three volt. It's about three volt. Okay, because we have what? Uh, because we have the dry cell over here, and then dry cell actually, uh, the dry cell actually. The dry cell uh, usually tell you the amount of voltage inside. I will show you the picture. I will show you the picture first. Eh? Dry cell, dry cell info. Okay. Uh, this is battery. Okay, this is battery. Uh, Label, sorry, yeah, label. Hmm. Battery. One point five volt. Okay, right here. For example, I give you where is the one that has the information. Okay, I will try this first. Hmm. Okay, this one lah. Eh? Open a new window. Open uh, for example, here, eh? battery over here already got the how many the voltage here. You can see eh? 1.5 volt. So if you connect two batteries, so you have three volt. Okay, uh, this is an example of voltage. But there is no current. Current, eh? current cannot, uh, they, they do not, um, uh, what we call, um, um, tell you the current. They just tell you the voltage of the battery only. Okay. Next one. Where is the information? There is an information actually. Uh, there is information on the battery on how many voltage it holds. And then usually for double A or triple A battery, usually there is the the amount of volt the uh, amount of voltage is 1.5 volt okay 1.5 volt there is an information on the label here i will try to try to give you the information here can i see the information here cannot this one also cannot. This one. Wait, huh? Ah, this one, for example. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, this one, for example, lah. Huh? They must get other two lists, huh? It will state here what is the, what we call the number of voltage 1.5 volt and then usually 1.5 volt lah, eh? usually 1.5 volt okay for triple a triple uh, a battery double a battery and then d size battery all these three size of battery have 1.5 volt each okay you understand this so how do you want to measure the voltage by using volt voltmeter Okay, by using voltmeter over here. Right? Okay. So, because it has two battery over here, 
Okay, because it has two battery over here. One is 1.5 volt. And then another one is 1.5 volt also. So the total voltage here will become 3 volt. Okay. Is that okay, class? Okay, never mind. So I think I will stop here. And then for page 81 and 82, your workbook, page 81 and 82, your workbook, you can try to answer it uh, yourself first. And then for our next class on, on Wednesday, Wednesday, we will discuss activity on page 81 and page 82. And then also page 83 on Wednesday. Okay, if you have any question, you can ask me later on our Telegram group. But for now, I need you to finish page 81. Try to answer first, yeah? Try to answer first page 81 and page 82. We will do the discussion on Wednesday. Okay? Is it okay, class? Okay. Yeah. All right, okay, very good. So, um, where is it? Okay, stop presenting. So, I will stop here. I'll see you all again on Wednesday, yeah? Yeah? When I, when it's there, okay. Uh, so, um, thank you for your cooperation. Lah. You can leave the class now. Thank you for very much. See you all on Wednesday. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you, thank you.